there's a lot of room for speculation in the exact look of Dilophosaurus's crests. And that's where you should direct your speculation, not into giving it venom and an extendable neck frill. I thought it was common knowledge that the venom and frill were only added for the Jurassic Park movie. Movie Dilophosaurus's frill doesn't work exactly like Chlamydosaurus's frill does, even though it looks like a frilled lizard's frill. They have six cartilaginous or bony ribs coming off of what's called the hyoid apparatus. Then the top of the frill is supported by these two squares of cartilage called Gray's cartilage, which are connected by muscles to the top of the skull, as well as this really long blade-like process on the back of the jaw. If Dilophosaurus somehow had a frill like this, we would expect to find the keratobranchial bones and some kind of blade on the back of the jaw for raising and lowering the frill, and we find neither.